Hey guys, Whitney here, and welcome to part 22 of The Sims 4 Get to Work Let's Play. I'm really excited because I actually uninstalled the Autumn Mod. Um, it was fun while it lasted, but it's just not really fall anymore, you know? So I decided to go ahead and install a different mod called the First Snow Mod. It was created by Sim Cookie. I will have a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out and download it for yourselves for your own game. Um, so yeah, it's I'm really excited. So I'm sorry if like the hype is real. In fact, I'm going to decorate the get to work sims household for christmas because i'm just in the christmas spirit my tree is already up if you saw my picture i posted on twitter um yeah i'm <laughs> i'm a christmas i'm a christmas junkie so i love me some christmas and luna is here at the willow creek park and it is just beautiful like stunning i am so happy this mod doesn't actually make it snow in your game but it's more of like what the autumn mod was, which was it was um, they changed like the colors and textures of stuff for, you know what I mean? To make it look wintry and fall like so. So, yeah, but I'm still really excited and it will tide me over till seasons expansion pack comes whenever that will be. So I'm really excited. I hope you guys like the look of it, too. And I went ahead and added a Christmas tree right here in the center of the park because where I live, or well, the state I live in, we have like this big square. It's not Times Square, but um, basically we have like this big tree lighting ceremony and it's like this whole big thing. So there's like a big old tree and it's just really exciting. So I decided to do that for them, for this town. And the reason that we are in Willow Creek is because Oasis Springs, it's kind of hard to see what the snow really looks like, you know, um, because it's meant to be a desert world. And so there's not that much snow in the Oasis Springs world for me anyways. So I took her to Willow Creek instead, just so we could just get a gist of this and you know what I mean? Like see it for what it's really worth. Like it's beautiful. I'm very happy with it. It's great. And I'm excited. I'm excited because it snows a lot where I live. So <laughs> I'm very excited for snow. Um, so anyways, in the last part, we did kind of like a little Thanksgiving because it was Thanksgiving. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and enjoyed your time with your family, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and have her head home. I just wanted to kind of explore willow creek now that i have this mod so i'm gonna go ahead go home and decorate their house for christmas and then i will see you guys in the morning all right guys so everybody's just having some onion bagels that patrick just cooked up or baked up or what is wrong with this toilet why does it always break seriously i don't okay anyways um i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit of decorating that i did um now we only have like 300 simoleons so um but worth it because christmas right so <laughs> um and the reason i am decorating for christmas rather than like hanukkah or kwanzaa it's just because i personally celebrate christmas you know um but hey maybe we'll do something in the future where we'll have a sim celebrate hanukkah or something. i think that'd be fun to just you know like embrace all the holidays you know um, so this is a little snowman. Oops. Okay. And <laughs> I just put a little wreath on the door, uh, using the move objects on cheat. And then going inside, I wanted to do, um, like the garland all the way around, like in every room, but it was just way too freaking expensive. So we have it over this door. And then in here we have our Christmas tree, our beautiful Christmas tree. And uh, what else? Oh, I also put some garland um, in here on the windows because I thought it looked pretty and it added a little more like of a festive look to the kitchen. And that's pretty much it, I think. So yeah, nothing too spectacular, but just that little extra to like, so you know, like it's almost Christmas, you know, it's exciting. So you guys, I asked you who you wanted to go to work with in the last part, and most of you said Lauren. So we will be going to work with Lauren today. We'll go ahead and grab that whenever she's done. And let's see. 
Trevor. Mm, go repair that actually and i have thought about like what day i want patrick and tess to get married and i think i've settled on saturday like saturday night and i think having a wedding on like a saturday night in the park with the christmas tree i think it would be gorgeous like really really pretty and i'm thinking of like just spicing stuff up a little bit and oh she doesn't like the onion bagel well you know what you're gonna eat it anyway um <laughs> I was thinking of adding like maybe a little like boutique for Tess to go shopping for a wedding dress, even though like you can't actually really technically buy. St I mean, I don't know. Like you don't have to buy stuff because like in The Sims 3, all the clothing is already in your dresser, basically, you know, so you don't technically have to buy dresses, but it's just for the fun of it. You know, I think it'd be fun to like go to a little boutique and see her like try dresses on. I don't know. I think that'd be really fun. And let me know what you guys think about that, because I think that it would be really cute. And Lauren is going to go to work in about five <laughs> seconds. Yes, we will. Oh, no, I don't want Trevor. Sorry, Trev. Join Lauren. <laughs> Here we are at the hospital with Lauren, and it just looks beautiful. Like all the snow on the roofing and all the snow over here. It's just really, really pretty. I'm loving it. I love it. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm just really excited about about this. <laughs> and Lauren keeps wanting to do things like go to the spa and stuff because she's always tense. So I think we'll probably have her go to the spa here in like maybe a couple parts or something. I don't know. Um... All right. Oh, yes. Now we have these treadmills so we can actually perform a treadmill test on a patient, which is exciting because she's officially a medical technologist. And to get promoted, she needs to diagnose and treat a patient. The, the power company shut off our power and I don't have enough money to pay my bill. Hopefully by the time Lauren comes home, uh, we will have enough money. So that's always fun. Good times. This is not the first time this has happened to me. Um, yeah. Oh, look at all these kids. Oh, no. Let's, um, let's see. Swab patient for a sample. Take temperature. Let's see. Oh, she's so cute. Her little PJs. I love those PJs with a little lizard on them. They're so cute. All right, enough with your coffee. <laughs> Seriously. You don't even need coffee. You just woke up. All righty. Um, all right. She has to test it. All right. Well, Run tests to find diagnosis. Mm. Okay, I don't know. Um, scan her body. Stop reading. Are you are you kidding? You are the worst. <laughs> All right, scan her body. Could you imagine going to the doctor trying to like get examined and shit? Your nurse is like reading a book. <laughs> That's great. Weak diagnoses available. The minimum amount of exam data is in for Ember Wooly. Ooh, I love that name. That's her name, Ember. Hmm. Maybe, maybe that's what Patrick and Tessa's baby's name. I don't know. We're not there yet, but I'm just saying. Lauren can try to diagnose her ailment at an exam bed or run more tests. All right. So let's weak diagnosis i don't want to do a weak diagnosis like i really want to you know um discuss general health and stuff with her um check her ears and eyes i guess yeah we gotta do some more tests and stuff decent diagnosis cha okay this is okay this is fun i like this Lauren Fitz has enough good examination data to give her a probable diagnosis at an exam bed. Further testing could increase. Okay. So how about we do that? Let's compelling diagnosis. Mm, how do I know? <laughs> how do I know? Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I guess oh, we do the sample maybe. I don't know. Um, analyze her sample see if this works because i really want to get her diagnosis right it would take forever to diagnose all these kids correctly who are you? who are you reese are you new excuse you excuse are you okay i'm okay she's like oh my god everybody's hitting on the new doctor <laughs> okay let's go ahead and oh he actually is a doctor 
Let's praise his work ethic. He is cute. Like, if she were to ever, like, have a baby, like, even though she's not into long-term commitment with relationships, I still might want her to have a baby. Um, and since she can't have an alien baby, this guy would make a wonderful child. Like, he's very, very cute. It didn't work out with Elliot, but, but it's okay. All right. It was inconclusive. Well, that's great. That's fantastic. Um, we're just going to go ahead and check her, our, um, yeah. Give her a diagnosis of gas and giggles. <laughs> she is giggling, so that must be what she has, right? <laughs> Where are her parents? <laughs> Am I the only one thinking that? Okay. Now that Lauren has diagnosed her illness, they can proceed with a treatment of medication. Okay. Wow, she can do so much more now. This is really awesome. All right, let's see. Treat with gas and giggles. Or for gas and giggles. Down the hatch. All right. She's good to go. Yay. All right. Awesome. So, yay. Okay, she could, she could, she could totally get promoted. <gasps> That's crazy. Oh, she has to pee. Uh, all right. Let's see. Let's examine this kid. Check his ears. Swab for a sample. The usual. I really want to do the treadmill test because it looks like fun. <laughs> Um, okay. You have to refer them, but I'm pretty sure you can't for a kid. Yeah, it must be older than child. Weak diagnosis. All right. So let's keep on going here. Discuss his general health, you know, and take his temperature. All right. Check his eyes, scan his body, you know. All right. Decent diagnosis. Has enough examination to give Brad a probable diagnosis. This is awesome. She can do stuff so much better now. Does he have gas and giggles too? Is he laughing? <laughs> Let's give him uh, gas and giggles too. All right. And then we can treat him. You are well on your way to becoming a doctor, which is crazy. Like, she can do so much more now. That's awesome. All right, check a patient's eyes. Oh my god, we might get promoted. This is insane. I'm really excited about this, guys. <laughs> Ooh. He looks dizzy. Um, llama flu, sweaty shivers. I'm not sure. Let's check his ears. His temperature. Scan his body. Perform a treadmill test. Yes, yes, we need to do this. We need to. Um, we'll do it after we diagnose this kid. This kid is going to have to wait. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, compelling diagnosis. Oh, I don't know. Uh, we will. I thought we already scanned his body. Scan his body again. You, no, you're not eating. You are the worst <laughs> ever. <laughs> Scan body. And discuss general health. Hopefully we'll figure out more to diagnose him correctly, you know? Yay! Alright, so now we can diagnose him with... I don't know. Guys? What the heck do I diagnose him with? <gasps> oh, no. Uh... I don't know. Stop going to eat a snack. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Swell for a sample, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm going to guess with the sweaty shivers. <gasps> I'm probably wrong. <gasps> oh, okay. I don't, I don't know. Do you know if you're wrong or not? Oh, he was cured. Oh, wow, girl, you amazing. Look at that. We're doing so well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try to admit a... Whoa, jeez. This is so impossible. How are you supposed to treat all these sims? How? Um, can we... Medical referral. Refer for treadmill test. Yes, that is what we want to do. I'm really excited about this. Jeez, girl, you're like right on her tail. One hour. Hopefully this won't take too long. Oh my gosh, that is so neat. 
Look, you can see like all her, it's like monitoring her heart rate and stuff. That's so cool. It's really cool. I'm gonna try to get a picture. That's so neat. It's like a stress test or whatever they call it. I don't know. Come on. I don't want to make her go like really late. But, okay. I think it's over. Good job, girl. <laughs> you did good. I think. I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure. How'd you do, Lauren? Jeez. The treadmill test on Kylie is complete, but unfortunately Lauren cannot make any sense of the results. Well, you know what, girl? You did your best. And that's all we can ask for. And she should get a promotion, I'm hoping. Um, where's that guy? Yes, honey. Yes. <laughs> Let us discuss work very quickly. Come on, come on. She's embarrassed. Questionable exam results. She's embarrassed. Confused by the medical data, Lauren may need a second opinion on how not to be a bad doctor. Hey, you're not a doctor yet. It's okay. You need to back up, honey. You acting thirsty, Charlotte. You being a little thirsty. Ah, uh, we didn't get promoted. Ugh, darn it. Hopefully next time we will because we already did what we had to do to get promoted. So hopefully in the next time she goes to work she'll get promoted but i want to talk to that reese guy so i'm thinking we might have her like chat him up a little bit when she gets home hopefully she actually like met him so he's a contact and stuff all right we should probably pay the bills yes 800 we're gonna have like 100 simoleons not even yay all right <laughs> she wants to go high because she's so embarrassed it's okay it's okay you properly diagnosed how many people today girl you did good all right reese is his name oh this he is so cute oh my god where did he come from like is he a town like is he um like an already played household or or you know what i'm talking about you know what i mean yes chat and send him a text even I know you're tense. You're always tense. She wants to go on a vacation to Granite Falls. We could do that in the future. Who knows? But yes, keep chatting him up. Like, I want you to really get to know him. Yes. All right, Trevor brought some money home. Thank God. Because <laughs> we needed it. Desperately. All right, so she's going to keep, like, chatting him up a little bit. Probably really um, annoy him. But you know what? That's how we get it done. Um, <laughs> so, so, yeah. And where's his baking book? Um, where is your baking book, Patrick? That thing cost 2,500 simoleons. If you lost that, I swear. To, I swear. Oh, wait. Baking volume two. Here you go. Why don't you go ahead and reread it? Will he still gain points? Yes, he will. Oh, look at the little donuts. I love the little things that pop over their head. They're cute. All right. And what is up with... Oh, she's at work. That's right. She should be home pretty soon. Are you reading? Are you listening to music? Read. Plagiarism accusation. Again. She'd fight it. She'd always fight it. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and delete the notifications. You look so tired, girl. Here, can't we listen to, like, Christmas music? Winter holiday, yes. Oh, makes me so happy. I can't even tell you. We wish you a Merry Christmas. That's what that song was. And a Happy New Year. All right. Um, I really want him to get his baking skill up, and then I'll probably end this part because he's pretty close. Come on, I believe in you. Um, no. You're not gonna spend time with your future wife. I don't think so. You can spend time with her after you get your baking skill up. You're gonna, you guys are gonna be, you know, married, officially married. So pretty soon. So don't worry about it. You just get the skill up. 
And then I want to see what else he can make and all that kind of stuff. And then I kind of miss the... Oh, my God. Whimsical achievement. What? Complete 100 whims across all sims. Okay. Well, then, there you go. <laughs> but no, I kind of miss the store. I miss the shop. I miss, you know, seeing customers and all that. But... Um, so we might do that in the future. There's so much I want to do. It's actually pretty exciting. You were so freaking... No! Oh, no. 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 You need to reread that until you get your skill up. Finally, level five. So he can now bake carrot bread, lemon bars, carrot cake, spinach and mushroom quiche, potato bread, spinach and onion quiche in a kitchen. And he could also bake cream filled donuts, plain scores, jelly filled donuts at the cupcake factory. Oh, that's so exciting. So that's what we're probably going to do in the next part. I want to have him bake up all kinds of, you know, donuts and things like that. And, um, he does need certain things from the garden to um, the dead garden. <laughs> this one's still alive. Hey. Hey. And she takes care of it. So we'll have her go take care of that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have him try to try out some new recipes and stuff because that's one of my favorite things about The Sims games. And what else can we do? Um, I'm thinking Lauren should totally like try to get close with that Reese guy because he's very very cute and uh they should go on a date or something like that and yeah let me know what else you guys want to see and I will see you all next time bye guys <laughs>